That's right, Graham. Time for another sensational Sami on this Monday. And this morning is all about chicken. We're all about bacon. We're all about feta. We're going to put that together, and you're going to have that sensational Sami here to show us the ropes. We have food and travel writer from Milk and Cookie, Shana. I love you. How are you doing, my girl? I'm great. How are you? Not too bad on this Monday morning. Looking forward to your sensational Sami. All right. So uh, basically, base ingredients: we've got some chicken, some feta, and some bacon, and then some greens. Yeah, greens. Yeah. Love the greens. Got to add the greens. Straight forward. Love it. All right. <laughs> put it together. How do we do this? Okay. So you make your bacon okay. however you like to eat bacon crispy obviously is the best way okay. to go <laughs> so i see these guys little yeah little yeah. Niblets of bacon yeah i saw you snacking on that earlier i did i did indeed yeah just gotta taste taste it you know <laughs> yeah yeah make sure it's safe <laughs> then right. you pop your chicken in you okay. can put a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar right. on your chicken just on the pan or in the bowl ahead of time it kind of marinates it a little bit helps it cook a little bit right. and then you've got balsamic the pan vinegar. on a yeah it's it, it gives it a really nice flavor and you just cook the chicken the way you would normally yeah. cook chicken. I see you didn't use any oil. Is that no, this is also, a... yeah, it's a non-stick non pan. pan. You don't really need it. Um, you know, if you're using a metal pan as well, the balsamic sort of helps with that. Okay, so cool. you get the chicken cooking and then you can make your honey mustard. So we can put this here. All right. And I love honey mustard. It's great for a salad. It's good for a sandwich. It's just really good on meat. So yeah. just a basic honey mustard. Well, taking a look at the rest of the ingredients as well, the honey mustard is a great companion, I think, for the yeah, rest of it. Yeah, yeah, especially, I think with bacon as well, all the yeah. like sweetness with the bacon and a little bit of the balsamic. So you just put a little splash, two uh, tablespoons of honey, okay. and a little splash of balsamic, and then you add the mustard, and that's pretty much it. And I like whole grain mustard because whole grain has that like nice yes, little pop in it. Oh, well. I love the texture of the whole grain. So it's easy. You can even keep this in your fridge for a little bit. Yeah, um, can... You know, just as a standard, keep it around, and that's it. And then All you've right. got your honey mustard dressing. Easy as that. So exactly. Right. And then you've got your rolls here, and it's nice to toast them. It kind of stands up to the honey mustard, that's um, so Make it doesn't sure the... soak through the bread. But yeah. if you've got a sandwich bread, you can put it on and then eat it immediately, and it'll be fine. That's so, it. yeah, if you don't have time to toast, but you know that extra step is always nice. All right. So you take the honey mustard. All right. Just put it on the bottom. Put a little bit on the bottom. We can actually do two rolls, so we can both have one. Sure. Bacon, yeah, bacon and chicken say. for <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> All right, so start with that. If you want to get yeah. your hands on the recipe, very easy. SMS the keyword lunch to 33728. That's lunch to 33728, and we'll send you everything you need to know. Just keep in mind, those uh, SMSs do cost one rand fifty. All right. Okay, then we're going to take the chicken. We've got already cooked right. chicken here, because you don't obviously want to use the raw chicken. That's you just it. take a nice piece of chicken. You can butterfly it so it's nice and yeah, thin. It's, nice and flat, it's easier yeah. to eat in a sandwich. Perfect. And then you take your pieces of chicken. Then you can take a little bit of bacon that you've already cooked. That's it. Put it right on top. I love how simple this is, but yet it is, yeah. like we said, a sensational salami. It's got all the flavors put together. So, And then you take a little bit of feta. You can take, obviously, the more bacon, the better, the more cheese, yeah. the better. And you just give it a bit of a sprinkle. Make sure it sticks on there. So as much as your bread roll can handle. I, think that's, <laughs> I actually think that's a good policy. All right. You put it on. Then you get your green. So you can use, I love Rocket. Rocket has a nice, like, peppery. Peppery taste. Yeah, yeah. and it cuts through some of the sweetness here. Um, you take a little bit of Rocket. You could use sprouts. I love sprouts, actually. That's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can just kind of push them down, and then they kind of, like, get stuck in the bread, so they I won't fall it. out. And you can use lettuce if you just have lettuce. Butter lettuce is nice. But it's always nice to have a nice green because, you know, the not nice yeah. lettuce is not nice to eat. And so. there you have it. I absolutely love it. A sensational salami on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning straight out of the Espresso Kitchen, a little bit more of a drizzle of our sauce there, but that keyword yeah. is lunch. SMS that to 33728, and you could be making this guy for lunch. Why not try it out this morning? Shana, thank you so much for joining us, eh? My pleasure. Looks lovely. Always nice to hang out with you, but there we go. That keyword, once again, lunch to 33728. Right now, from the Espresso Kitchen and Sensational Samis, we're talking fashion.